Welcome to the Shark Core Fine Needle Biopsy System in-service video. In this video, we will cover the essential information about the Shark Core FNB device, its setup, and the procedural steps to ensure effective and safe usage during endoscopic ultrasound procedures. The Shark Core Fine Needle Biopsy System is designed for single use and consists of a Shark Core Fine Needle Biopsy Needle preloaded into a Beacon endoscopic ultrasound delivery system. The system is intended for use in obtaining tissue samples from submucosal lesions, mediastinal masses, lymph nodes, and intraperitoneal masses within or adjacent to the gastrointestinal tract. The Shark Core FNB needle features unique needle tip geometry, engineered to collect core tissue samples and improve diagnostic yield. The Shark Core FNB needle hub of the 22 and 25 gauge is blue to identify the needle as a fine needle biopsy device. The Shark Core FNB needle hub of the 19 gauge is purple, indicating that the needle is made of nitinol. The Shark Core FNB system is available in preloaded kits, 19, 22, and 25 gauge, and are also supplied as cartridges only in boxes of five. The Beacon EUS delivery system is fully compatible with interchangeable needles, including FNA, FNB, and FNF, and features a passive safety shielding feature to help prevent needle stick injuries. The Beacon EUS delivery system is a two-part system composed of a sheath and detachable needle insert. This allows for needle removal while maintaining the position of the sheath in the endoscope and in relation to the targeted area. Setup process. Examine the syringe and stopcock. Open the stopcock by turning the lever arm until it is parallel to the syringe's long axis. Fully advance the plunger and rotate it counterclockwise until it stops. Turn the stopcock 90 degrees to the closed position. Retract the plunger to the desired position. Five milliliters, 10 milliliters, 15 milliliters, or 20 milliliters. Lock the plunger in place by rotating it clockwise to lock the fins behind the syringe stop pin. This action will create a vacuum in the syringe. Set the prepared syringe aside until needed for aspiration biopsy. Insert the device into the endoscope. Identify the desired biopsy site using endoscopic ultrasound. Insert the device into the ultrasound endoscope in short increments until the lure lock fitting at the base of the sliding sheath adjuster meets the fitting on the instrument channel. Attach the device to the instrument channel port of the endoscope by rotating the device handle until the fittings are securely connected. Adjust the sheath and needle length. Determine the preferred sheath length depending on the endoscope being used. Loosen the thumbscrew lock on the handle sliding member and slide until the preferred length is attained. Tighten the thumbscrew to maintain the preferred sheath length. Adjust the needle to the desired extension length by loosening the thumbscrew on the locking safety ring and advancing it until the desired reference mark for needle advancement appears in the window of the safety ring. Tighten the thumbscrew to lock the safety ring in place. Procedural steps. Extend the needle. While maintaining the position of the ultrasound endoscope, extend the needle by advancing the needle handle to the repositioned safety ring. Advance the needle into the lesion, ensuring it is visible in the ultrasonic image to avoid patient injury. Remove the stylet. Remove the stylet from the needle by unlocking the stylet hub from the needle lure and retracting it from the needle. Preserve the stylet if additional tissue biopsy is desired. Attach the syringe. Attach the lure lock fitting of the previously prepared syringe securely into the needle lure fitting at the handle end. Open the syringe by rotating the lever arm on the stopcock until it is parallel with the axis of the syringe. The previously applied vacuum in the syringe will facilitate the biopsy. Sample collection. Gently advance and retract the handle in small increments to advance and retract the needle within the biopsy site. Do not remove the needle from the biopsy site during tissue sampling. Upon completion of tissue biopsy, retract the needle into the sheath by pulling back on the handle of the device. 
lock the thumb screw on the safety ring at the zero centimeter mark. Remove the needle. To remove the needle from the handle of the device, depress the thumb latch on the handle to release the needle and retract it from the handle. Carefully and slowly retract the needle until slight resistance is felt approaching full needle exit from the handle. Continue to carefully retract the needle from the handle. A slight click will be felt as the needle is continually retracted. This is the needle protection mechanism locking onto the needle in the handle. Caution. Ensure that the needle is slowly retracted through the handle of the device. Failure to slowly retract the needle through the handle of the device may result in needle kinking. Prepare the specimen. Having removed the needle from the device handle, remove the biopsy aspirate from the needle. Open the stopcock by turning the lever arm until it is parallel to the syringe's long axis. Rotate the plunger counterclockwise and advance it forward to expel the biopsy. Prepare the specimen per institutional guidelines. The remaining biopsy aspirate can be recovered for examination by flushing the device. Take additional samples. For additional tissue sampling from the same lesion using the same needle, gently reinsert the stylet into the lure fitting on the needle. Note, prior to reinserting the stylet, wipe it with saline or sterile water. While holding the needle lure fitting, advance the stylet in small increments until the stylet hub engages in the needle lure fitting. Tighten the stylet hub onto the needle lure fitting by rotating clockwise. Reinsert the needle. Carefully insert the end of the needle with the needle sheath into the handle in short increments until minor resistance is felt. Caution. Do not retract or disengage the needle sheath from the end of the needle before or during needle insertion. Retraction or disengagement of the needle sheath from the end of the needle before or during needle insertion may result in user injury. When targeting multiple sites, replace the needle for each site. Continue to advance the needle into the handle using short increments by holding the needle as close to the top of the handle as possible until resistance has been overcome. Caution. The needle must be inserted slowly into the handle of the device. Failure to insert the needle slowly into the device handle may result in needle kinking. Lock the needle hub into position. Advance the needle through the handle and sheath of the device until the needle hub meets the opening in the device handle. Continue to advance the needle hub into the handle to lock the needle hub into position. Caution. Ensure that the needle hub locks properly into the device handle. Failure to properly lock the needle hub into the device handle may result in damage to the endoscope. Obtain additional samples. Additional samples may be obtained by repeating steps 5 through 21 of the instructions for use. Remove the needle from the delivery system. Once all required samples have been acquired during the procedure, remove the needle from the delivery system. Dispose of the device. After use, dispose of the product and packaging per institutional guidelines for biohazardous medical waste. Thank you for watching the Shark Core Fine Needle Biopsy System in service video. For any further questions or assistance, please contact your Medtronic representative. Thank you.